Hello guys, it's Carly from the Poetry of Nice and I have my eBay sales video for you guys. So this is over the last two weeks from March 30th to today, which is April 2nd. Um, and yes, so what I'll do is I'll take you through everything that's sold. I'll let you know how much I paid for it originally and um, what it's sold for. And then I will, of course, give you all of my numbers and, you know, a little bit of a breakdown of stuff to do with fees. And essentially, I'll make sure you guys know what my gross profit is, my cost of goods and stuff is, and then my net profit after everything. Fees and whatnot are all taken into consideration. Um, so this is like week three of the experiment <laughs> if you've been watching my channel for a while you'll know that i primarily used to whatever um sell mainly like just like vintage goods and, and primarily on etsy really ebay was kind of like just a little afterthought um but i'm in week three or entering week three now of trying to ramp up ebay and change things a little bit i'm actually trying to focus a little bit more on used clothing still do vintage clothing love vintage clothing but also just like you know contemporary modern clothing and stuff as well um mostly women's and the reasons for that are there's several um first of all there's extra profit there <laughs> Uh, second of all, it's to do with, you know, sourcing capability and stuff. These things are in surplus around me, particularly in rummage sales, whereas vintage items can be a little bit hit or miss depending on the weekend or where you end up going. Um, and also, I am entering slowly the stage of being heavily pregnant. So, <laughs> lugging around like suitcases and wooden crates and all kinds of different vintage bits and pieces and all the effort that goes into like storing that packing that photographing that whatever is becoming just a little bit much to me so as my husband would say evolve or die <laughs> and i'm evolving and um, so i've been sort of working on my system at the moment really for getting clothing listed i'm finding that i'm able to stay on top of it so much easier than with my vintage stuff with my vintage stuff i always felt like i had boxes in the garage that still need to go through in fact i still have a few right now because you know it's full of weird and wonderful things and they take like 20 minutes to 30 minutes to list each item um because they're all different you know there is no self similar for a lot of those those things and there's a lot that kind of goes into that and whereas with this i'm finding you know today is monday lunchtime and already everything from my saturday haul which is about 80 pieces or so um is already photographed majority is drafted so now i just have to go in um to ebay and sort of tweak those drafts it takes me like three to four minutes per item um and make it live and I can do that steadily throughout the week so I have consistent listings going up and I'm finding that that is really really working well for me I'm able to utilize my time better it's way more efficient like energy efficient as well and also storage you know clothing is easy to find it can for the most part be fairly cheap particularly around me rummage sales and things like that and um, it's easy to photograph it's easy to list and it's easy to store and it's easy to ship it's you know my shipping has gone from being like an hour to an hour and a half of those really complicated strange items on etsy and whatever to you know being 20 minutes and it's absolutely done so a lot of benefit and this is just kind of where i'm at right now with my life um and it's working for me so let me go ahead and show you what sold on ebay over the last two weeks um i'll let you know my net profit at the end but i will say that most of that profit has been the last week because obviously as i'm starting to list items um and kind of ramping up as it were you know it's it's picking up steadily so um hopefully next week will be even better here we go this first piece i'm going to show you here is a boston proper shirt picked this up for a dollar at a thrift store and it sold um in just a couple of days for a best offer of 15 dollars 50 with free shipping at the end uh, oh i'm sorry at the end i will let you know like all my shipping costs and things like that i'll try and be as transparent as possible and just give you cold hard facts um pair of 100% linen Calvin Klein pants. These sold for $12 with free shipping, mostly because they had a stain on the cuff. There we go, or on a, a couple of stains. Actually, I just could not get out, so I decided $12 free shipping, fair enough. Um, yes, and they sold in a few days as well. I'm really trying to do this quick turnover, guys, because I cannot store a million different things, and I can only source once a week right now, so it's kind of all about bulk and i've found a way to be able to manage the bulk the bulk listing and the bulk shipping so it's pretty good hopefully we'll get more bulk like we shall see um found this eloise anthropology uh, it's a seamless tank 
ran it for eight dollar and it's all for sixteen dollars with free shipping again just a couple of days it was up this was up for less than a day it paid a dollar for this it's just a little bubble hem strapless dress by white house black markets so off 28 dollars with free shipping again these shorts just up for a couple of days hollister just men's slightly distressed shorts um i paid 50 cents for these they sold for a best offer of 13.50 with free shipping uh these gap kind of orange colored pants i paid 25 cents for these and they sold for 15 dollars plus the buyer paying shipping since they were over a pound and by the way my aim guys is to keep my cost of goods as low as possible like two dollars and under is ideal a dollar and under is really where i want to be at 50 cents a piece i'm super comfortable <laughs> like that makes me feel really good and really not nervous so that's my goal and so far i've been able to do that um this is just a maurice's like a it was like a western style shirt it had these like faux pearl snaps whatever and this like pink rose polka dot pattern and i paid a dollar for this and it sold for 15 dollars with free shipping um these were another version of those gap pants but these were the purple version and they sold to somebody else on the same day <laughs> and they sold for fifteen dollars with buyer paying shipping again 25 cents again i paid for those and um, this mountain hardware hat and um, paid 25 cents for this at a rummage sale last week it sold in just a day or two for 14 dollars with free shipping this was a Jones New York signature women's shirt. I grabbed it because it was a 3X. Unfortunately, it did have some staining. Like, it's very hard to see there, but a little bit of kind of pink red staining on the cuff that I just was not able to get out. So I went ahead and took a best offer of uh, $12, I think it was, um, with free shipping, but it cost me 50 cents. This uh, life... <laughs> I'm not very really good at these, am I? Um, I'm getting used to it, though. I can recognize them in an instant, but I can't pronounce half of them. And um, this anthropology shirt, really, really beautiful with all the embroidery and stuff. Paid a dollar for this at a rummage sale. Oh, I'm sorry, no, I paid 50 cents for this at a rummage sale, I should say. Sold in just a few days for $20 with free shipping. Vintage polo sport ralph lauren like color block men's swim trunks they were a size small i paid 50 cents for these at a rummage sale but they were a little faded a little bit of wear to them so i uh, sold them for 15 dollars with free shipping they were very light um this was just a modesty uh, modesty swim dress it was a plus size it was a size 20 um, and it had the built-in like swim skirt so swim dress was also a good keyword to use here um paid 50 cents for this at a rummage sale it sold for 20 with free shipping again just a few days of being up this has been up forever but it sold randomly um it's i paid a dollar for this at a thrift store and it sold for 17.50 with free shipping this was only up for maybe a week if that um so for full asking price 28 dollars with free shipping it was just a vintage members only color block windbreaker jacket size extra large uh this was only up for a day before it sold paid 50 cents for this at a yard sale it was a size 38 double d so a good size there and it's up for 15 dollars with free shipping kashik uh paid 50 cents for these wool clogs unfortunately they were a bit worn um like the insides and stuff but overall they were still good unfortunately somebody had cut off the tags as well like the branding tags which was a real shame but obviously all of that's disclosed and they still sold for 25 dollars with buyer paying shipping and if we didn't mention it 50 cents at a rummage sale picked up this hat at a yard sale for a dollar the yard sale was a burst they were asking like ten dollars for a scrub top <laughs> which is just not it's not my thing um but it sold for a best offer of fifteen dollars with free shipping and that sold in like a day as well i think um this victoria's secret swimsuit i got three different sets each one cost me a dollar and um, i took a best offer on this one for twenty dollars with free shipping this Harry Potter Slytherin cardigan. I actually got this at a thrift store and paid $6 for this, but it sold for $28 with free shipping. 
probably up for about three weeks that one these sold overnight they sold really quickly which i surprised because their comms were just not that good but i paid 50 cents for these shoes they are a guess um and they sold for ten dollars plus shipping so nice and quick uh this was a free people um like a linen blend top really really pretty unfortunately when i got it home i realized that there was oh where are you let me show you the evidence there it is there was a big hole well not a big hole but there was a hole it was enough so i went ahead and put it on auction and a bunch of people bid I had nine bids and it still sold for four dollars and 25 cents plus shipping it cost me a dollar so not a whole lot of profit but at least it didn't go straight in the trash can um this one of my viewers bought if you're watching hello and thank you and i hope that you love it <laughs> um it was just this really cool dashiki print uh like tunic top with these awesome wide sleeves um it cost me a dollar it cost me a buck at a yard sale um i hope this isn't weird if you're watching i figured you already knew since you saw it in my whole video <laughs> um they paid twelve dollars and then there was free shipping on top of that this is a pair of Athleta, obviously, uh, pants, but again, paid a dollar for these at a rummage sale, and then I got home and realized that the cross, uh, crotch had a decent, a small hole, but it's a hole nonetheless. So threw them up an auction rather than uh, just kind of throwing them in the trash. They got nine bids. They made it to $10.50 plus shipping. So hey, don't if it's a good brand, don't always throw it away <laughs> or redonate it. Give it a go. Uh, this has been up for a while, finally sold for $20, a little 10 karat gold poodle charm um, with free shipping. It's Cavu bags, uh, sold overnight again, paid 50 cents at a rummage sale, sold for $12 plus shipping. That was the best offer. This bad boy I picked up for 75 cents at a rummage sale. It was suede and leather, hand painted. Oh my gosh, this thing was awesome, but it was rough. It had a bunch of, look at those feathers, a bunch of like holes and bits and pieces. Anyway, the guy messaged me and I ended up taking a best offer of $40 with him paying shipping as well. And he's going to go ahead and fix it up, which just excites me to know when that someone's going to breathe a bit more life into this. Already got feedback and he loved it, which I was thrilled about. And um, paid two dollars for these Adidas, Adidas, however you want to say it, uh, climber light long khaki pants. I took a best offer of fifty, uh, sorry, fifteen dollars, uh, and the buyer paid shipping as well. Uh, this Lowe's hat sold for nine ninety nine with two bed, uh, two bids on auction and uh, buyer paid shipping as well. Paid fifty cents for this. Little pair of 100% silk Victoria's Secret shorts. They were super cute. They had like fairies and all kinds of owls, ethereal type things, fantasy things on them. Um, paid a dollar for these and they sold for $14.99 with free shipping. Just a plain old Chanel clamshell glasses case. Paid a dollar at a rummage sale, sold for $8.99 plus shipping. These were mine, just random musical theatre ticket stubs that I had from both New York and the London West End that I just had randomly collected and no longer had use for. So I took a best offer, sold them for $7. They were free to me, I paid shipping as well. Heck, why not? It was just lying around the house. And the final thing is this vintage Beatrix Potter baby blanket i took best offer of 12.44 and the buyer paid shipping and i paid a dollar 20 for it originally at an estate sale so my gross profit over the two weeks for ebay remember i'm building up slowly it's mostly been in this last week and um, so hopefully momentum will continue to climb was 535 dollars and 16 cents and total amount I paid out for shipping was $62.50. My cost of goods for everything I just showed you was $29.20. My total amount I paid in fees, that's with eBay and PayPal, was $80.27. So my net profit for the last two weeks on eBay that I'm praying has continued to grow as I keep working was $363.19. Um, so, which isn't too bad, especially when you add it into my Etsy two week net profit of three hundred and thirty nine dollars and sixty four cents um obviously we're broken over we're, we're edging there we're pretty much at the seven hundred dollar mark so seven hundred dollars over the last two weeks pure profit from both etsy and ebay um which is is up for me remember i do this part time but i'm doing my best to get as much time in as possible so 
electric yeah it's beginning to work yay all right guys thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a great week talk to you soon bye